For many of us, racism is a part of everyday life. There's a lot of research that shows clear links between racism and poor mental health. We can't talk about one without the other. Racism can be experienced differently by different groups of people. It's rarely a one-off incident. Many of us experience racism as a long pattern of being made to feel unsafe or excluded. Maybe you've been made to feel unsafe or treated unfairly when you're out and about. Or you've been excluded at work or uni. Maybe you or your family have been treated rudely when using services. Or you've been racially harassed online. Even seeing others from your community discriminated against can make you feel unsafe too. Racism can take many forms, and it can affect us in many ways too. Sometimes racism affects so much that we don't notice how it shapes how we see ourselves, our abilities and our self-worth. The world around us affects us. It affects how we think, feel and behave. It's no wonder that racism affects our mental health. So what can we do about this? Remember, you are not alone. We need to work together to address racism. It's not something we can change overnight. We can acknowledge the impact racism has on us and take everyday steps to care for our mental health. Staying connected is really important. Talking to people you trust can be very helpful, both when you're feeling good and feeling bad. Find ways to move your body in your daily life. Connect with people or groups who you feel will understand and care about you. You may be surprised where you can find that connection. It could be in your neighbourhood, a club or group, or even online. You can seek help from a mental health professional too. And you don't have to wait until things are bad to see one. Talk to your doctor about your options. You may be eligible for lower cost services, we need to address racism for our communities to be safe and well. This means changing things at all levels, from unfair policies and practices to attitudes in all communities. In the meantime, we have ways in which we can care for mental health. By connecting with others and getting extra help when we need it, we can heal and take care of ourselves too.